how many of you plan on going on uh, after high school to play instrument, your instrument? Ooh, good show of hands. Excellent. <laughs> I would want it, I wanted to really quickly go through and just get all of your, your names. Okay. I'm Allie. What instrument do you play? Um, I play alto sax in regular band and baritone sax in jazz band. Okay. And your name and instrument? I'm Matt and I play alto sax. Great. I'm Adam and I play alto sax. I'm Billy and I play the alto sax as well. And I'm Spencer and I play alto sax. Well, I get him Hunter and I play the trombone. Uh, I'm Connor and I also play trombone. I'm Aurora and I play the trumpet. Way back here. I'm Bobby and I play drums. I'm Kyle and I play trombone in normal band and I play piano and jazz band. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Looks like many of you play more than one instrument. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for coming. I'd like to welcome Jerry Downs and Ben Latham from the Pacifica School District. They are the band directors. That was a wonderful uh, jazz ensemble we heard. And uh, who, which one of you um, leads that band ensemble? Well, I lead the jazz band ensemble that you saw, but uh, it's a unique ensemble because a uh, majority of them were actually alumni from uh, Cabrillo School. And then the two little guys that you saw with the Cabrillo shirts on are actually in the band and at school this year. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Do you lead any other ensembles? I teach at, uh, do the concert bands at Cabrillo and Valimar School, and then uh, we also do a drum line uh, on Thursday nights. What do you have, Jerry? I teach at uh, Ingrid B. Lacey and Ocean Shore School. We also have concert groups, a marching band, a drum line, a jazz ensemble, and we also do what was called Winter Guard, which is dance, color guard, flags, things oh, like that, in addition oh. to that. It goes with our marching band. Oh, and that's at Ingrid B? Yeah, that's at Ingrid B. Lacey. The Ocean okay. Star students also participate with that, too. Um, how many students are in the program? Approx we have approximately, okay. between the two of us, we have over 300 students. Oh, no kidding. Fantastic. Probably closer to 350. At, at uh, two of our schools, at Ocean Shore School and Cabrillo School, sixth grade band is part of the curriculum. So every sixth grader takes band as a class, just like they take math and science and language arts. And then mm -hmm. at our other two schools, Ingrid B. Lacing and Valimar, it's, it's more of a traditional um, elective program. We give grades um, at, at the schools where they do grades and a grading scale. We give them grades just like any other class. Some of the rehearsals are at night, so they do they they don't all occur during the day. Some of them. Uh, are a lot of the things like the marching band and with us, a lot of it's voluntary. It's extracurricular. Uh, the, the core group at Ingrid B. Lacey, it's mandatory, but we have some other kids that it's voluntary. So the advanced band at Ingrid B. Lacey, they do march after school. We have kids that voluntarily come as an extra thing to do that. Our drum line is voluntary, jazz band's voluntary, the color guard is voluntary. It, those things happen after school. Have you won any competitions? Won any awards? Uh, <laughs> we've had two Northern California championships with our drum line at Ingrid B. Lacey. The last Five drum majors for state championship for middle school have come from Ingrid B. Lacey Middle School. We did very well at CMEA Festival last year with my jazz band. Um, my marching band went to the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Jerry's marching band pretty much marches over just about everybody when he goes places. We have a thing that my kids do called Solo and Ensemble Festival where they get in a small groups of two or three and play duets, trios, quartets, and they compete at a local level and then they can go to the state level if they score very high. And we've had um, seven groups from here go to state. And then a couple of years ago we had the very first, what was called the superior rating. How do you get the professionalism and the dedication out of these kids? Well, we, it starts with good kids. You know, most of the kids that are in the Pacific School District are really good students. Um, they learn at home how to be good citizens, and then our job is to enhance and develop that. And especially at our programs where it's a um, voluntary or a, an elective program, um, the kids that want to be there want to be there and, and do it. Since you're in the community, 
in your round. Do you get a lot of parents coming, oh, hello, Mr. Latham, or hello, Mr. Downs, and they want to talk to you about their kids? and Constantly. Constantly. Yes, it's a definite, yeah, all That's the time. That's a real community. Safe way. Oh, yeah, and, you know, and, I, and I like that. We get alumni, uh, parents. Last year, our stage crew was all former parents and oh. a former student at the district concert that you might see the drop-ins here. Now, because we've had it for, you know, seven years with us, and this is our eighth year and with the previous band directors, now it's becoming tradition. You know, they have a standard to uphold. The, the kids that go to Mr. Latham and myself, it's, it's now they have something to follow where they, you know, they try to exceed the previous group or they try to at least maintain the status quo of excellence. We do a summer band, both of us do a summer band at the end of school to give the incoming uh, band members a chance to get a head start on their instrument. And at my schools, I, I don't staff it with adults. I have the kids that have gone up to the high school program come back. And I, don't, I never ask. I go to a high school rehearsal at Terra Nova, or I have a, get a phone call, hey, are you having summer band? Yep, okay, well, I'm gonna bring, you know, Susie and Johnny and Billy, and then I heard that, you know, Phil's coming, and I always have a full staff, and they sit there and they work with the younger students, because they, it's like, this is it's their like band. Here, right. You know, it, I always tell them, I said, it's not my band. Uh, my band graduated from high school and middle school mm, years ago, but this is your band, and you, got to take ownership and pride, and for the most part, they, they do. And similarly, when we, with our marching band, because we, we probably do a lot more parade competitions than Ben's group. We do a, mm -hmm. more of a, what we call a circuit, where there's a lot of competition. The students come back again, like student aides, to work with the groups. They volunteer, they sign up with their high school to come back and work with us after school, during the school year also. And that allows them to, to build the tradition of excellence that, that they preceded and they're trying to carry on by helping the other kids go through our program. They're not at all embarrassed to go, wow, they sound a lot better than we did when we were in eighth grade. And you look at them and go, well, that's because you came back and helped. And so it just feeds the ego and feeds the, the whole thing. look at it, you know, our groups as representing the community, representing the Rock Schneider Music Foundation, things like that, where we are proud of what we do in the Pacific Island. Well, I want to thank you both for coming in today. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. Interesting talk with the directors, the band directors. They work very hard. Yes, they do. You yes. could see yes, that. They do. And the, the band was fantastic. They're amazing. They're really amazing to be so young and so talented. And still growing as musicians. That's the wonderful thing to see. The legacy of the Rob Schneider Music Foundation has supported bands beyond the Pacifica School District. And that's wonderful. It, it is amazing. Mm. Um, would you like to give one last, um, in, in some information on the foundation a little bit and, and your fundraiser coming up? The fundraiser coming up will be a star-studded evening of ele elegance with, uh, for the Rob Schneider Music Foundation, and that's going to be on February 6th, Saturday, February 6th at 6 p.m. to midnight. Tickets are $125 per person, and it's a 21 and over type of party, but it's going to be a lot of fun and hope to see a lot of Pacificans there. Thank you so much for coming in. It's been a really nice time talking with you and the band directors and listening to the wonderful band. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to uh, remind you that you can see us on YouTube. So please see us there. And thank you very much. Good night. Mm -hmm.